Hey, son. Got your message. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, of course. How, how's, how's Kate doing? Well, you know, she's been working with Dr. Keenan trying to figure out what caused the uh, personality split. And uh, yesterday she remembered something. What was it? Not what, who. That's why I wanted to talk to you. I started working for Joe Scully. You know, I was groomed to be a major player in the organization, and Joe Jr., his son, um, it didn't sit well with him because he, he hated the fact that his father trusted me more than him. So he took his anger out on Kate. Where is that son of a bitch right now? Uh, you know what? I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, his father sent him underground years, years ago after this incident in Atlantic City. In, in Atlantic City? Joe Jr. ran a club for his father. He got in a little bit of a, a you know, hassle with a stripper there, and he killed her. Is it McBain's sister? Scully knew that his son wouldn't survive in prison, so he asked me to keep quiet and let the police think that I did it. So they arraigned me in court in front of a judge who owed Scully a favor. They didn't have any evidence. So they let me go. That was the end but of that story. not the end of it. Not for McBain. He thinks that you're responsible for killing his sister. I told McBain the whole story. What happened? I said, you know what? Joe Jr. shot your sister and ran away. I was kneeling by her body trying to help did, her. Did he believe you? No, he didn't believe me. But I don't, I don't have proof of the actual killing. I don't. But there are records that show that Joe Scully was running the club and he vanished after the girl died. Yeah, I, I think that McBain's actually following up on your story. Sam said he left poor Charles. You talking to Sam again? That's a good thing. Not really. I talked to her about coming home and uh, she refused. Sorry. I mean, can you blame her? I have no one. Sam was in labor when you called those guys on McBain. She had never given the order to begin with. She tried to cut it off. The damage was already done. It was not your fault. Sonny. You know, a after the accident I had with AJ, I didn't, I didn't remember anything about my life. I didn't feel anything for the, for the people that I was supposed to. And you, and you told me that was okay. That it was good that I could stay detached and I do what needed to be done without, without emotions clouding my judgment. Sending those guys after McBain was, was all emotion. Things happen. I can't know, give Sam her baby back. She's never going to have a chance to be a mother. I took that away from her when I sent those guys after McBain. The baby had a condition. There's no way that the doctors would have known if they were able to save him. Kate's probably wondering where you are. You go take care of her. I'm going to take care wait, of her. Wait, wait, hold on. I want you to find Joe Jr. and bring him to me. You think that's a good idea? I'm gonna take care of that bastard the way you took care of Franco. It's laying, Joe Jr. laying his hand on Kate while she's begging him to stop and he's forcing himself and you know he hurt her to get back at me. You know what that feels like, right? Kevin Franco didn't fix everything. I should let I should let Joe Jr. get away with no, raping I'm Kate. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying no matter what you do to him, it's not going to change. It kills me. That I was that I wasn't there when Kate needed me. All you can do is be with her right now. Joe Jr. got her sick. He caused the DID, and now she's got to live with it the rest of her life. I'm going to help her with that. That animal. He has to pay. Okay. I'm gonna make some calls, see if I can get a lead on where he's been all these years. I told McBain, I said, you know, uh, after Joe Jr. disappeared, Scully was taking calls from an associate in New Orleans, and I overheard him uh, talking about a wire transfer to the floor de lis what, what is that, is that a restaurant or a club? What is well, that? I didn't wanna know anything until, you know, I had to. But after Atlantic City, I don't think uh, Scully's gonna let his son run a club. I, I don't even think, or even know if Joe Jr. is connected anyway, but it's the only lead we have. I'll, uh, I'll look into it. Wait, wait, wait. Kate and I, we've managed to work our way back together. I think you and Sam can too. Those results are back and everything looks normal. Does that mean I'm done with these follow-up appointments? For now, yeah, but I'd like you back in six months. And if you still don't have any problems, then I'll sign off on your chart and 
We can part ways for good. Great. Look, I, I, I know that I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you and Robin. Thank you. Jason. Um, uh, to tell Sam that I'm sorry about your loss. And I know the words don't mean much, especially on days where you feel like pain is going to swallow you whole. But you'll find ways to cope, and eventually it, it gets a little bit better. Conversation with Keenan. Oh, yeah, could have been within three feet away. You know what? Be glad I was eavesdropping. I came up with a solution to your problem. Uh, a pro I have a problem you're now. Finding a babysitter at the last minute. Uh, My last surgery got canceled, so I can take the kids tonight, so you can have dinner with Keenan. You know how I feel about my kids being around your mother. I can watch them at your place. And who's gonna watch your mom? I'll ask Olivia to do no, that. No, thing. no, no. She shouldn't rearrange your schedule so I can go out on a date. She's, She's not going to mind. Look, I already told you, and that we can go to dinner another time. That way, I don't have to inconvenience anyone by finding a sitter. Are you sure it's just childcare issues? It's keeping you from going out. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but this has absolutely nothing to do with Jason. 